Good day, everyone. Welcome to Grace Christian College Character Development Examples from the Bible. As we begin, let's have a word of prayer. As I pray, I close my eyes, bow my head, and fold my hands together. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity where we can ponder upon your word. May you guide us and give us an open heart so we can grasp what you want us to learn. We entrust to you this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have you ever experienced a victory in your life? How did you feel about it? Isn't it fulfilling whenever we achieve victories? Especially when we did it the right way? Our story for today talks about a man who experienced victory in the name of our Lord. The title of our Bible story for today is God is the one who gives victories. And we will be talking about the life of David. David faithfully takes care of his father's sheep. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 12 to 15 Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three of the sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. David goes to battle and brings food to his brothers. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 17 to 21 And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp of thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep of the keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. David volunteers himself to fight Goliath. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 23 and verses 32 to 37. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words, and David heard them. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight for this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he... A man of war from his youth. David showed courage. As verse 32 says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. It really takes courage to face a giant who is over nine feet tall and is armed with weapons. But David showed no fear against him. And David said unto Saul, 
thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he had defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, The Lord delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. David had his confidence. Verse 37 says, David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. David got his confidence from the Lord. David brought his sling and stones. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 38 to 40. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. David killed Goliath. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 45 to 51. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. David knew that the Lord will help him conquer the Philistines, for he recognized that the battle is the Lord's. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine, and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore, David ran, and stood upon the Philistine, and took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. David served in the king's palace. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 55 to 58. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Enquire those whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And 
David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house. If David was going to rely on his own strength and power, he would have failed. But David wasn't trusting in his own strength. He trusted in the name of the Lord Almighty. David did what he did for the glory of God. It was God who enabled David overcome Goliath. For with God, we have victory. Let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, just as David won in his battle, may we also learn to trust you as we face the battles in our lives. May we always be reminded that in you we have victory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for joining us. God bless you.